In this video, I'm going to explain the smart contract code of Bolt Ape Yacht Club. Bolt Ape Yacht Club is one of the most popular NFT collection. Many celebrities bought them, they were advertised in Times Square in New York, and recently they became even more expensive than CryptoPunks. If you are new here, I'm Julian, and on Ido Blogs, I help Web2 developers transition into Web3. Bolt Ape Yacht Club was released in 2021 by a company called Yuga Labs as a collection of 10,000 unique NFTs representing apps. The smart contract of Bolt Ape Yacht Club is not available on GitHub, but you can see it on Etherscan. When you read smart contracts on Etherscan, all the imported contracts and libraries are put in the same file. For example, for Bolt Ape Yacht Club, we find the code of ERC721. This is not specific to the project, and we can skip all of this. This is where the contract of Boet Yacht Club begins. The purpose of this contract is to implement the primary sale for the launch of the project. We first import ERC721 as well as some utilities. After, the state variables define the parameters of the primary sale, like the price of each ape in Ether or the maximum number of ape an address can buy. When buyers bought an ape during the primary sale, they didn't know how it looked like. This is to avoid bidding wars for gas and it introduces fairness. The reveal timestamp is the timestamp at which the images of the NFTs will be revealed. This function allows the owner of the contract to withdraw the ether of the primary sale. This function allows the owner of the contract to mint 30 apes for themselves free of charge. This function is to update the hash of the image containing all the apes. This image is generated and stored outside of the blockchain on IPFS. This function is to update the URL of the metadata server which contains the image of all the apes as well as JSON data which describe the attribute of each ape like the hat, the fur or the eyes. This is to toggle on and off the primary cell. This is the function called by user to mint each ape. It's a payable function because you have to send Ether to buy an ape. The code checks that the primary sale is still active, the buyer doesn't try to buy too many apes, and enough Ether was sent. And after that, it means the apes. So that's it for this walkthrough of the code of Boet Yacht Club. The code is simple because Boet Yacht Club doesn't have any gameplay, unlike CryptoKitties, for example. CryptoKitties is another famous NFT project, and if you want to explore its code, you can check out this other video on my channel. I will see you there.